Okay, so first we're going to start with the value scale. You're going to need a ruler and you're going to need a thick piece of paper. We're going to take the left side and draw a straight line from top to bottom. I'm going to use a black colored pencil so you can see my lines. And then we're going to take that section and divide it into six. So starting from the top, make this a little brighter so you can see. Oh, that's shiny. All right, so these are probably not going to be equal parts um, because this is kind of just for the experiment and the exercise, not really for professionalism because art is not ever perfect and you should never expect it to be. Okay, so six rectangles. You're going to take black and white. I'm using paint. You can use a colored pencil um, and just slowly shade up. But I'm going to show you how to do it in paint. So I'm going to take my bottom rectangle and completely cover it in my darkest value, which is black. I'm going to try to speed through this, maybe just a little bit. You can pause it if you need to. You don't have to like try to do it exactly at the same speed that I'm doing it uh, because part of this video is going to be sped up, so you probably won't be able to keep up, and that's okay. I'm going to put um, more and then just a little bit less every time. And then I take my white and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take white and I'm going to put it at the top. And then I'm going to take white and I'm going to add white to this black. A little bit more white here and then just gradually keep adding more white to my swatches of black so that when I mix them they're gonna have different ratios of black to white I'm gonna take my palette knife and I'm gonna mix them together You could use your brush to mix them, but it, it, it might gunk up your brush. It'll put a lot of paint in your brush bristles. So if you do mix them together, you don't want to mix in circles. You want to mix like up and down and left to right. All right, so every time we mix our values together, our black and white value paint colors together, um, they're going to make a gradually lighter gray. So you can see in the video, the top left is dark gray, then we got a medium gray, and then we're making a slightly lighter gray, and then we'll have our lightest gray in the bottom right corner. Okay, so we've got our grays, and we're going to put them in the places on the left side here. So I'm going to take all four of these grays, and I'm going to put them starting light to dark. I'm just going to add a little bit more white to my bottom right because it is not as light as I'd like it to be. And now, a word from our sponsors. Have you ever wanted to try pretzels? Well, you should. Pretzels are great. They're salty and crunchy. The best snack. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so now we're going to put our second lightest gray in the middle of our value scale and take our second darkest gray, put it underneath that. And we're going to take our darkest gray after I wash off my brush and put it in our last section. And that'll be your value scale.
Um, this is a six scale value scale. Six shades, six value, six value value scale. <laughs> six sections. Yeah. Okay. White to black. That's uh, that's this. You're gonna take um, a circular object and you're gonna trace it. We're going to make our color wheel now. You're gonna divide it into half. Half again, so we have quarters. And then each section is going to be in two thirds. Okay, so now we are going to, oh, gotta fix that. We're going to use our three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. So put away anything else that you have out. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on there first. This is ultramarine. I'm not putting a whole lot, and this is already too much, I can tell. This is red, brilliant red, according to this package. So you need a whole lot, like I said, already too much. Um, you always think you need more, but you really don't. And yellow. Okay, so blue, red, yellow. Now we're going to section this off. So we're going to mark red, one, two, three, four. Yellow, one, two, three, four. And blue. So we're going to take our red, and we are going to... Fill that in. And now we have our red, blue, and yellow primary colors painted in. We are going to work on our secondary colors. So we'll mark that. So this is going to be orange. So we're going to take a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow, mix them together. Awesome, paint that in there. And just like that. You know, voicing over stuff like this can be so boring. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not a tutorial, but you know, if you're watching this and you're actually following along with it, it's totally fine. But if you're just watching this for like the knowledge of it, is it boring? Is it educational? Let me know. Are you paying attention? It depends. Alright, this one's gonna be green, blue, and yellow. Fill that in, and the next one's gonna be purple. Wash off your brush. Make sure you wash your brush between colors. Blue and red makes purple. So we're adding the two colors that are on the outside, right? So if purple's in the middle, the two colors that are closest to it are red and um, red and blue. All right, so I got my purple. Paint my purple in here. Okay, so now we're going to do these colors. These colors are made by the colors that are on the outside. So we're going to do with that one. That one's going to be red and purple. It's like a burgundy color.
Okay, now we got that, that painted in. We're going to paint green and blue together. Get us a teal color. And now we're going to do green and yellow. Yellow and orange. and red and orange i have to remake my orange so these three colors the red red orange and orange are going to look pretty similar um especially in the camera they're oversaturated here but um i can't really fix that in post with this camera but there should be a slight difference at least and that's it you have your color wheel nice job